Hey, hi, hello, you guys. My name is Personalized, and today I thought we'd do another awkward story because you guys enjoyed the last one so, so much. This story is about my friend and me and an experience we had on a vacation me and him both went on. Now, due to just privacy stuff, I'm not going to say his name, so we'll call him Jack because I always wear that hat all the time and people call me Jack Septicai. So at this time, me and Jack worked together in a fabric making facility. It sounds stupid, but that, that's what we did so we worked in this factory and we were told to come in at I think 11 o'clock to work now when we got in we didn't have anything to do and it was Friday we just got paid so we decided to just leave early and then we just ditched and we went to Tennessee to Pigeon Forge now if you don't know what Pigeon Forge is oh damn get wrecked now if you don't know what pigeon forge is it's like a very country las vegas actually i don't i don't know what to call it but it's it basically has a bunch of amusement stuff and it, it was pretty fun me and jack left around i think either 11 30 to 12. It, it was somewhere in between then and we got there in tennessee i believe at around two o'clock now you're wondering hey well tyler where, where is it gonna start getting weird well this is where it starts getting weird S slow slow yourselves down but me and jack were trying to find a hotel that would be pretty cheap until everything opened first thing in the morning but we searched around for about an hour i think for a, a hotel that would have rooms open and eventually we found one and it was it was small it, it wasn't really big they had normal rooms but they were having a deal now this is where it starts getting really weird well, actually very awkward <laughs> so she's the lady up at the front desk said something like well we have normal rooms right now for uh 89 dollar but if you get the luxury suite I know, it probably wasn't luxury suite. I really, really wasn't paying attention. This is what caught my attention. She said something like, We have this room for a 108 with a jacuzzi. Now, Jack already knew what this was. Me being pure and innocent, I didn't know what this was. <laughs> All I heard was jacuzzi, and I interpreted that as luxury suite. But this was a um honeymoon suite. Jack was back here laughing at me because he knew he knew all along he, he was snickering back there now you may well is that the uh, is that the top point of how awkward this gets oh no oh no it gets worse so me and Jack we were so excited about the next day that we didn't get any sleep at all we stayed up all night watching Nick late at night or something watching George Lopez that morning we like I said we didn't get any sleep at all we were dead tired we got up to get, you know, the free breakfast, and we went downstairs. We ate, you know, at like normal. We went, ate, and then we went to the front desk to uh, tell that lady, or give her, like, our room cards and whatnot. Now, <laughs> this is where it got bad. She's like, did you guys have a good night? And we're like, yeah. She's like, did you get any sleep? We looked that woman right into the windows of her soul and said no. We didn't get any sleep last night. Now, for you that are innocent, just like me, two men sharing a room together in a honeymoon suite telling someone that they didn't get any sleep last night is pretty freaking sexual. And I didn't realize till the last minute, and neither did Jack. So we went out to the car. We sat there for a minute, entering the instructions in on my GPS to get, I think it was to Dollywood. And we realized, hey, maybe we shouldn't have said that. Because now she thinks we're a gay couple. Man, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I think this is worse than the last story. But you guys, that was the end of this awkward story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Remember, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, including Shout Out Sunday. And again, I apologize for not uploading again. But like I said before, I apologize way too much. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.